Ben from Fame Models World Singapore. Today, I just want to uh, do some clarification. We have a lot of people coming to the store and uh, they wanted to buy uh, regulators for tanks. And most of the time, they will come in and they will ask me questions like, hey, you know, I'm using a, a low pressure gun. I'm using a high pressure gun. You know, what kind of regulator should I get? And most of the time, I would recommend the Pro Ninja Pro V2 because this is what we meant by the standard rack. Okay, and also it's one of the best uh, regulators available in the market and this is something that I genuinely recommend but half the time uh, we have people who come in and they are shooting like low pressure gun and then they will ask me okay but this is not a low pressure regulator right so I can't buy this now uh, it is not true because uh, Ninja has uh, special technology right uh, these guys have been in the business for a long time and uh, their regulators are very uh, variable in, the, in, the industry. in fact they, are, they can you can adjust the output pressure of the regulator and this is how it should be done okay and today I'm going to show it to you okay so uh, let me first remove the staple from this uh, regulator and and uh, Dominic you need to like show put it close so that so half the time when you buy a regulator I'm sure you only use this but you don't really read the instructions so but it's very important <laughs> for any anyone to buy an equipment and, and really go through the instructions carefully and you can see over here that it says on the uh, manual that just put a bit zoom in and zoom into this it says shims okay so later I'll show you what shims are so if you're shooting a high output pressure gun uh, in this case uh, most of the normal guns, for example, you're shooting like the die or you're shooting uh, some of the uh, LV, LV1, uh, you need a high, high output pressure regulator. If you're shooting uh, guns like maybe a CS2 or you're using uh, maybe a, a MacDev gun, then you need a low output pressure, okay? And this is the way you remove the shims, okay? So what you do is, of course, I have my very reliable toolkit here. I'm not going to make use of everything in there but only uh, one allen key which is actually not supposed to be here so I don't know why it's this thing here alright so that's all you need and uh, just zoom in and, and, and show everyone so all you need to do is just uh, very simply uh, we're going to rewind this very fast but let me just remove this uh, little nut over here okay so three of them one Okay, so these three are removed and you notice that the top portion of the regulator can be easily turned out, right? Okay, uh -huh. so now this is out. Okay, so just make sure that the shims doesn't fall off. And what are shims actually? Shims are these metal round rings that basically controls the uh, output pressure. So if I try to knock this out apart, you see this, this one shim coming off from my hand. Alright, and if you remove one shim, what does it mean? So uh, in, in actual fact, uh, all default uh, regulators has got three uh, shims. So if it's three shim, it's 800 PSI. Okay, so if I want it to be, now there's two because I remove one and it's 700 PSI. If I want to go low pressure, I need to remove all. Zero for 450 PSI. So what you do is you go in there and then sometimes it falls off easily, sometimes it doesn't. Shift it a little bit, knock it a few times. And uh, it's usually hard to remove because there's a little bit of some grease in there, so it's like sticking onto the uh, sticking onto the part of. It. Oh shit! Doesn't come off. Um, okay, there you go. Assuming I've taken out all three, and then all you need to do is, of course, screw this back in. Okay, and then you put on all these small little nuts. Now, so. This then becomes a low pressure regulator. Okay, it's that easy, all right, it's that easy. Uh, a lot of people doesn't know. So they come in, they want to look for very specific regulators, but you don't have to. Just go for the normal rack, ninja rack, if I can uh, promote to you, and just remove the shims, that easy. All right, thank you.